so enter the workbench window so this is ansys release 2020 second version just check it with the fluid flow fluid we are interested in the fluid flow simulation which is taking place through a 3d circular pipe so we required a fluid flow fluid so this is window so we have geometry mesh setup solution and result so first thing we will create a geometry with the help of ansys design modeler so this window open zx so first thing is to select the units so i'm taking here as a units in centimeter so observe x y and z so this is red x this is green y and this is z so depending on which direction you want your object accordingly you can select your geometry so this is x this is y and this is z now first one i will create a primitive so i am selecting a cylinder now you can see a wireframe model has been prepared so if i want to my object to be in z direction i will specify the components of z initially it is 100 i will specify for example 200 so my object will be projected in z direction so you can see now the wireframe model has been generated now i will generate this now you can see a solid object has been generated now we are not able to see this inside or we don't see the inside lines available so what i will do is i will select add to frozen now check how the geometry becomes after it has been selected as a add to frozen now you are able to see this part over here so now a pipe has been created now the next thing is to create a curve so while selecting a curve it is important to understand the planes so this is my xy zx and this is yz so whichever the plane is suitable to draw this curved pipe will be to select zx so what i am doing here i am selecting zx plane and having a look at for this plane now i want this as a curved pipe so initially i created a straight pipe now what i will do i will go for a sketching option here spline so select the center for your pipe take any point along this line then try to take the points in such a way that they will not intersect with respect to each other so in this way i have created my pipe so now you can see a path is created for this pipe so i want this geometry to follow the path of this so what i will do i have to use a few operation which is called as sweep so for this i will uh, go to the sweep option which is available here so this is a sweep option available so you have to select first profile so i have selected profile now next thing i will select a path so i have selected path then again i will go on to generate so the object has been generated now one more thing which is important in this case is again if i have selected add material i will not be able to see this from inside so i will select this as a add to frozen so now the object will be generated so all things will be visible to me clearly and this is important when you are doing the analysis now the geometry has been created you can see two parts two bodies one it is solid second one is also solid now what i am doing is i am going to make this as a unit because sometimes what happen when we have two or more such kind of shapes the errors in the geometry is occurred so that's why i am going to do one operation which is called as a boolean operation so i am going to unite these two bodies so i am selecting this one and this one and make it apply so it will become unite earlier it was two part two bodies now it is showing one part one body now this has been created now i want this to be hollow from inside so what i have to do i have to do one more operation which is called as thin so i am selecting thin surface now in that option i will keep faces to keep 
now what i will do is i will select these surfaces so this surface i will select this surface i will select now make it apply and generate now you can see it has become hollow from inside as it has become hollow from inside now we can proceed further here you can observe one part one body now the computer doesn't understand which one the fluid is flowing from inside or the fluid is flowing from outside so that's why what i have to do here i have to use one more command that is fill so i'm selecting the inside surfaces over here so the cavity i'm selected so now what will happen the cavity will be filled with a fluid so make it generate now you can observe two parts two bodies one it is solid here it is showing solid second one it is name is solid but it is showing it is a fluid so i have to rename this part as a fluid because this is my fluid zone so i am specifying this as a fluid over here now again make it generate so this is our two parts two bodies which are being available so this will be the outer pipe and inside zone will be the fluid through which uh, the uh, the fluid which is flowing through this pipe now this is completed now we can proceed for the next step so that is related to the mesh so before proceeding save the work so that you can use it later on so going to the ansys work over here so try to select sep try to create a separate folder so that you will be able to watch it later on so i selected 3d pipe curd so again give the name 3d pipe and this is a curved pipe we have so i will select this the important thing is why you are saving this work so it can be used it later on so that's why we need to save the work next part is to go for mesh so what is happens in mesh in mesh the geometry has been divided into n number of parts why it is important to divide this geometry in n number of parts because computer performs iteration and as the computer perform iteration we need to uh, divide this geometry into a number of parts so as to have the accuracy of result so this geometry will be divided in terms of nodes and element so i will go on to make a generate mesh over here so i am selecting a default option so default mesh will be created at this point now it is also important to give the names because the computer doesn't understand uh, which one is inlet which one is outlet so we have to specify these values and that's why i am selecting the particular faces so this one i have selected i will go to create name selection i will specify here as inlet over here so same way on the other side this one i am going to specify as a outlet so i am not changing any other thing i am just specifying the inlet and outlet over here so this is outlet now next one is to select the walls so i selected both of the walls again i will do the same i will specify name over there that is wall so name selection has been done you can just check it here inlet outlet and wall now once this has been done you do update once update is done you will see message the mesh translation was successful so if this is been the message appears so now you can close your mesh window so let's close the mesh window now in front of geometry you are observing right click in front of mesh you are also observing right click means whatever we had done till now it is all okay now let's move to the setup so depending on your system configuration the number of solver processes will vary as per my system i am specifying 10 let's move for the next part now we are in the setup now what we will do we will apply the boundary conditions here we will specify the material and we'll start the process of calculation in this case now if you if you are able to see the blue arrows and red arrow so the blue arrows are shows the inlet the red arrow shows you the outlet now i am going to specify gravity i am specifying gravity in the negative direction minus 9.81 as this is a horizontal pipe so there is not much effect of this gravity if the pipe is in vertical direction then there will be considerable effect but still i am showing the gravity over here so you can see this is a y so i am showing this is in negative y direction so that is related to gravity next one is material so go to create over here go to fluent database in that fluent database select water liquid so copy then
close this window. So this has been obtained. Now you can uh, make it change create and close the window. So I'm not select uh, changing the material of pipe. Here you can change the material of pipe. Uh, by default it is aluminum. I'm keeping as it is. Next thing, go to the boundary condition. So here inlet, I will go to the inlet and I will specify velocity over there. So what is my velocity? Say for example 0.5 meter per second. So I have specified velocity. Now close this window. Next thing, go to the reference values. Again, the computer doesn't understand from where to start. So we have to start, uh, we have to specify complete from inlet. Now you have to specify zone. So we are specifying the fluid zone. Now let's move further. That is iteration. So uh, sorry, initialization. Compute from again inlet. Make it initialize. So I'm not changing anything. I just initialize this. Now go to the calculation activities. Now in calculation activities, auto save for after every 20. Why I am doing this? Because in complicated problems, the time requires are more, and that's why after each 20 iterations, it will be saved. If it is not saved, sometimes you may lost your work next part come to the time steps run calculation so i'm specifying somewhere around 500 over here now one more thing i have to do i have to go to the graphics i will go to the path line now here you can observe path variable now i will specify as a velocity now where i want i want it inlet outlet and wall so save display over here you can see on the right hand side some path lines are been observed make it compute over here simultaneously if you want to visualize this you can visualize this by observing the pulse okay you can see the pulses which are going out over there so make it save display and close this window now go to the run calculation so we have specified number of iteration 500 then uh, we say depending on your system configuration it will take time okay just will start with the calculation over here now after starting you will see one more window uh, this kind of graphs will be visible so hardly uh, this problem is very small so that's why it takes less time to complete the process now here the calculation has been completed now you can go to the workbench window save your work and in front of geometry you are observing right click in front of mesh you are observing right click in front of setup also you are observing right click in front of solution also you are observing right click now you can close the the fluent so as specified close fluent now the last step is to go towards your results so go to edit now this particular window will open now check out the inlet outlet check out the wall check out the wall solid now you this geometry is not properly fit so you can select the plate window view here now it is quite better way you are able to visualize it now as as uh, at the present the geometry you are not able to see it from inside so i will set some transparency over here that is 0.9 same way i will specify it for outlet with specify transparency equal to 0.9 over here same way i will for wall i will specify transparency 0.9 over here so that it will be clearly visible from inside Next one, also I will specify the transparency over here, that is 0.9. Okay, so this is how the transparency has been set. The next part is to go to the streamlines. So we are interested in streamline for the fluid particle. So again, we have to specify from where to start. So I'm specifying inlet. So make it apply. So you will see such kind of patterns over here uh, for your velocity. Now how to visualize this result? So go to this window that is animation window now in that case already we have done the streamline so we'll select the streamline you can reduce the speed to slow value over here and run the simulation now you can see the fluid particles are coming and the fluid particles are less as compared to the one which is present at the start so that when we consider to be the losses when the fluid is flowing through some curved section when the fluid was flowing through the straight pipe, no such losses are observed. Only some of the fluid particle having higher velocity, some of them having lower velocity was observed up to this region. But after this region, we observe some of the particles are lost in between and they are not actually reaching to the 
outlet so this is how the things are been observed now you are able to see the uh, the the particles are quite big in size i can reduce their size also so go to this top window go to the option then select the symbol size i am reducing the symbol size to half so you can just check it out over here now see the size of the symbols now earlier a larger size now here is a smaller size again if you want some variations in this symbols you can select different symbols which are available either cube ball arrow fish 3d arrow head like that so various options are available you can select out of that another thing sometimes if you want to save this as a video file so you can save this as a save movie and you can go proceed further for this you can you have to go as a save movie so in the respective folder it will be shown now in the option you have to select hd uh, video if you depending on uh, which a resolution you want and you can take it hd video 1080p and then you can select the frame rate say for example 60 and the highest of the value you can save this video also so uh, if you run this video now then in that cases this video will be saved in that in this particular folder so uh, here in the document folder it will be saved so this is how you can visualize the result as well as you can save the result so this video can be useful in order to watch how the fluid flow simulations are taking place so this is how uh, we can understand the fluid flow simulation which are been available over here and this is example of fluid flow simulation which is taking place through a, a curved pipe so there are few positions where you are observing the the particle uh, line it is up to this only so the particle is lost here the particle is lost here particle is lost here so in this way we can actually visualize the fluid flow which is taking place so you can see the particle has lost here particle also lost here here also one particle is lost here also one particle is lost so so many particles are lost before they are coming to the exit so in this way we can visualize the fluid flow simulation in 3d curved pipe thank you